With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, the question is, a uniform ladder of mass 10 kg leans against a smooth vertical wall making an angle 53 degree with it. The other end rests on a rough horizontal floor. Find the normal force and the frictional force that the floor exerts on the ladder. So let's say we have a ladder like this which is leaning against the wall making an angle 53 degree with it. This surface is smooth and this is the rough surface. All right. So before we solve this question, let us first discuss some key concepts that we need to know to solve this question. So the key concept is the concept of equilibrium. So the equilibrium states that the net force in the x direction would be zero. The net force in the y direction would be zero and the net torque on the body at any point would be zero. As this ladder is in equilibrium, so all these conditions would be true for it. Now let's draw all the forces acting on the ladder. So as the ladder has mass, so a weight of W will act on it in the, in the downward direction. As the ladder is in contact at the two surfaces, so normal forces will act on them like this. This is N1 and at this point this is N2. Okay. Also as the surface is rough here, so the frictional force will act in the direction opposite to the tendency of motion. So as the ladder has tendency to move in this direction, so the frictional force will act in this direction. Alright. Also Let's name all the points as A, B, C, D and projection of this vertical as E. Now we can use our key concepts to solve this question. So we'll use our first key concept which says sigma fx equals 0. So in the horizontal direction we have two forces that is N1 and F. So from here we'll get n1 equals f. So let's say this is equation number 1. Now we'll use our second key concept which says sigma fy equals 0. So from here in the vertical direction we have two forces that is n2 and w. So from here we'll get n2 equals w. w is the weight of the ladder which is given as mg. So from here we will get n2 equals m of the ladder is 10 and g is 9.8. So from here we'll get n2 equals 98 newtons. So this is our first answer. Now we'll use our third key concept which says torque at any point is 0. So let's say we find torque at point A equals 0. So at point A the torque due to N2 and F would be 0 because these two forces pass through these points and we will have torque through W and N1. Alright. Torque because of W will be in the clockwise direction and torque because of N1 will be in the anti-clockwise direction. So these two would be equal. So now we can say N1 times BD, all right. So N1 times BD equals W times A, all right. So W times A. Now let's draw the triangle here so that we can understand the concept better. So this is 53 degree, this is A, B, C, D and E, so this is A, B, C, D and E, alright. 
So now we have N1 times BD. BD is actually AB cos 53. So this is AB cos 53. Also AD is AB sin 53. So this is AB sin 53. So BD is AB cos 53. Now we have W times AE. So AE is actually half of AD. So AE is half of AD. And AD is AB sin 53. So this would be halved. Now we will get N1 times AB can be cancelled on both sides. So we will have cos 53 here and W times sin 53 by 2. Now cos 53 is 3 by 5 equals W which is mg times sin 53 which is 4 by 5 and we already have 2 here. Now on cancelling 5 both sides we will have n1 equals m which is 10 times 9.8 that is g this also cancels so it will be 2 here 2 divided by 3 from here so from here we'll get n1 as 65.8 3 Newton. Alright. So we have obtained N2 and N1. Also from our equation number 1 we have N1 equals F. So we can say this N1 is equals to F. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.